Oh great, it's brick they're not working now. I recently ordered this uh, digital oscilloscope kit from a Chinese website and it took really long to arrive but yes finally it did arrive. So let's open this and see what we have inside. Inside we get a CRO probe, the main PCB board, uh, as you can see the build quality is very good and I don't see any components soldered except for the processor I see I believe. On the top right hand side corner of this board uh, there is this model number printed which is DS0138. Other components include few manuals, the LCD display and the components which we need to solder on this board. Coming to the display, this LCD board also comes with a protective film uh, to avoid scratches on the screen I guess and even this build quality is very good. First we'll start by putting all the components into a tray just to avoid missing any of the components while working. These components include power jack, connector to connect the oscilloscope probe, headers and there's also a miniature SMD IC. This kit comes with three manuals. One on how to use the oscilloscope. Second with the list of all the components in the oscilloscope kit and also which one goes where. The third manual is on how to solder the SMD components. This I feel is really helpful where he shows step by step on how to do it. First let's start with the LCD. There are few header pins which goes on this and I use the manual to solder the right parts on the right place. Next I started soldering the SMD ICs and while soldering this I made sure the notch on this IC is in the right direction. As the direction said, first I applied some solder on one of the pins. Then I placed the IC in that place and soldered the first pin of the IC. Once the IC is uh, fixed in its place I continued soldering the other pins of the IC. Next I soldered the next IC uh, which seemed like a voltage regulator. Here as well I followed the same method. Next I took the reference of the given manual and started soldering the SMD resistors. This took almost 30 minutes just for the resistors as the components are very small. After finishing SMD, I proceeded to the 1 10th watt resistors. After soldering the components, I made sure to trim the excess length of the resistor legs. Next comes the diodes. I see they use two diodes here. One is 1N4004 and 1N5819. Following this, I soldered all other components like the crystals, capacitors, 
LEDs, transistors, etc. As I don't have the required connectors to connect the power supply, I soldered two wires to the power supply input pins on the board. I have connected a small regulator circuit to the power supply input of this board to regulate the 12 volts coming from SMPS to 9 volts, as the rated voltage of this board is 9 volts. Next I have tested all the voltages which were mentioned in the manual and then shorted one of the pins which was meant to be shorted once the testing is done. Following this I fixed the LCD on to the board and switched it on. But at first there was no luck. Then I went back to the manual and started troubleshooting the circuit. While troubleshooting I noticed that Few of the pins on the header of the LCD and as well as on the board were not soldered properly. I soldered them again and checked all other connections and switched it on. This time it worked. Then I connected the probe to the oscilloscope and did the necessary calibrations by connecting the input pin to the test signal. The test signal gives a 1 kHz signal of square wave. I connected the probe to that and started calibrating it. The calibration steps are already mentioned in the manual. All the functions of the keys and the steps and calibrations are mentioned in the manual. If possible, I'll make a separate video showing on how to use it and the functions and a review video of this one. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, you might like some of my others too. Please check them out at Electronics Made Easy, Khadar. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.